All right, guys, welcome back. A uh, couple updates right now, but this is an unboxing video. But I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time. I got two spots that I have to retap. I got one here and one at the, all the way at the end. That end one I'm going to have a bit of trouble with, but I got to get a tapping set, get that done. Why do I got to get that done? Because the bolts broke. But that's not what this is. We are unboxing. What are we unboxing? Well, first, we got from Michigan Motorsports. This is the adapter for the transmission to bolt up the, uh, the 350, TH350 to bolt up to the uh, 4.8. Get my knife. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and here we are. Do do do. Michigan Motorsports. This is the adapter. This is supposed to fit over. Oh, I guess I gotta flip over to this one. Two. that centerpiece right there but it is supposed to be for let's see the uh, 350 to bolt up to the 4.8 so I will go ahead and pop up a part number for you guys let me get my phone out really quick uh, let's go down to my emails do, 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 do. No, that's not what I want. Oh, Miss Gorders, uh, Michigan Motorsports. I believe this is it. So anyways, this will bolt up to the 5.3, but the 4.8 is the same block as the 5.3. I'm sure they share the same, uh, what is it? Oh, whatchamacallit. Flywheels. And this is for to use for the dish flywheel. Let me go ahead and just go to motorsports here. Maybe I can look it up. Actually, here we go. Uh, okay, Google. Oh, torque converter adapter for TH. 350 to a 5.3. No. Alright, summit. We gotta find Michigan Motorsport. Do, do, speedway, speedway, okay. Let's see. Okay, Google. Michigan Motorsports Automotive Parts. Michigan Motorsports. There we go. Here you are. All right. So we get. Oh, here we go. Open it up. The uh, part number is two six four zero zero. So that oh that will work for the transmissions of the TH three fifty, the TH four hundreds, and the seven 
700 R4. Let me open it just in case because it could say more. Uh, no, that, that's it. So, then, now we got another one that we have to unbox from Dirty Dingo Motorsports. And what these are, is I'll just have to show you. Never cut towards you even though I just did it. But it is what it is. They stapled the bottom. Fine with me. I did not go through eBay for this or Amazon because I could not find it on Amazon. I'm sure I could find it on eBay. But I don't trust eBay. So I actually went to the source. I was a little sketchy about it. But it still worked. Got all the hardware which I probably will not use I may use the bolts but not the short ones oh god break this tape open where my knife go there it is I will be painting these, but these are motor mounts. And these are to uh, to take over the other spot because I guess the mounts itself are a little bit different. These do work for the uh, whatchamacallit, uh, oh shit, I can't even talk right now, clam, clam motor mounts, so I think I may be able to get by just using my, yeah, I will, maybe, yeah, so I'll be using my stock ones, uh, and then these will work with <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, it's Chevy GMC. These will work with the trucks, the Blazers, the Suburbans from 73 to 87 two wheel drive LS uh, engine mounts. Uh, they were not powder coated. You can pay an extra 10 bucks, which I forgot to do. But that's fine. I can always spray paint them because I'm not giving them back. I got to use it for this. So the part number for this, which I will add the, these in the descriptions and hopefully be able to put the link down into the description. The part number for this is DD25007. Let's see if I can get you guys up close and personal with that. But I will have it down in the uh, description. So as far as this, I can't really do anything right now because I literally only have like what, four things left to go. And what I do like about these is they did sketch it. See, that's D. Oh, that is neat. I do like that. I am very pleased with this, and I will be writing them to let them know. They got them. They got P and D for passenger and driver. And then they also put their little logo in it. I very much like that. I will end up uh, spray painting these before they do go in, though. Uh, I don't like to leave. I should have got it power coated, but it happens. But uh, other than that, I'm happy with it. I could put them on, which I may, but I won't. You can't torque them down until you get it in because that's what it's for. It's got to adjust to go back and forth to the, uh, uh, what is it called? The do -do 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 
for the brackets. But the only thing left I have to get is <clears throat> the fuel pump, the fuel lines, the radiator, which I will be buying a 2004 model because I just found out this is not a 2003, this is a 2004 for a Chevy Silverado 1500. I did get the transmission in. The reason why I'm not putting the transmission in right now is because I do not have electric uh, speedometer. So that's not going to work. That's why I bought the adapter for now. And then as I'm buying the pieces for this to get ready to put that in, then I could put it in. However, <clears throat> like I was saying, I need the fuel pump, but I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the whole complete tank because it may have baffles for the fuel to, so it don't swish away. Uh, radiator, and then the hoses, radiator fan, uh, and get the computer flash. I got a guy, well my cousin's got a guy that could pay, I could pay a hundred bucks to get a flash, which is not bad. Uh, but once I get that stuff, I mean, I can start literally putting the stuff together. I did take the hoses off. Unfortunately, this is not the <coughs> throttle cable type, which I wish it was, but it's fine. It is the bypass. I will be relocating the battery because that's where the computer is going to go. Uh, before I go through and have him flash all this, I will be running through the wires which I may be stupid for. I'm going to take the, uh, what the hell is it called? Transmission wires off. I'm going to clip those off, kind of uh, put like a shrink wrap on it, and then, because I don't want wires hanging off it, and then whenever I finally get it done, uh, I'll put it all back, which I will end up having to have, uh, the gauge I said I'm going to put a tack, tack in there for even without that uh, but the speed gauge and I gotta put oxygen sensors in so that's more stuff I gotta buy but once I get everything going I will be back to make a video with that being done uh, you cannot. I can I've had a hard time finding them. I see pictures of them. There's one guy that has a 5.3 in his, but he it was basically marked as sold, so it wasn't really showing you how to do it. I'm gonna go through the process of showing you guys. I'm gonna try to get my camera skills a little bit better. Hopefully, when I do it. But other than that, it, I'll end up making a video to get it done, so you guys can see how to do it. Uh, stock transmission is going to be used. I won't be using the kick down cable which is technically the passing gear because it don't work. So, but other than that, you guys have a blessed day. Stay safe out there. Help each other out. And if you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Uh, just stay tuned. If you want to, if you're about to see, you're ready to see it fully get done, subscribe. Uh, I mean, it's going to get done. Getting the stuff within the month. I'm basically just waiting our taxes to come back, which would be in, what, 18, 20 days we'll be having our taxes. So other than that, you guys stay safe, help each other out, and that's it.